Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here once again, joined by Jasper Anderson of Mr. Chicken's Prop Shop. That's right. Uh, you're an effects artist down in Hollywood. You've worked on a bunch of films, but in your spare time, you also uh, make creature effects for, for haunts and Halloween and for many, maybe any time of year. Yeah. And uh, you've brought today uh, one of your prop effects, which is, I love this, it's, it's, a, it's a projected, rear pro or front projected in this case, but animated f head. Tell, tell me about this. So, um, so this is the ghoul. Um, he's, um, it's actually just a vacuum-formed um, face shell like this one. Um, and then what's, uh, what's going on is that there's a video that's being projected onto it from the front that kind of takes the flat image and wraps it around so you get the illusion of a three-dimensional head that's talking to you. Totally, and we've seen this effect used in all sorts of haunted attractions, even rides even. Yep. People may you know some very famous rides that use effects like this. I, I love that you have different forms that you've sculpted and different characters. And what I'd love to know is how do you find a balance between what is gonna be in the video versus what needs to be in the form? Because mm -hmm. um, they're working together in this projection mapping. That's right. I mean, uh, so the trick is like, you know, a lot of people um, used to just kind of like grab a styrofoam wig head and try to project a face on it. And the thing is that like, that's not the shape of a real person's head. And so what I did with these is, um, this guy is actually a prosthetic makeup on myself. Mm. Um, and so I used the mold from that makeup to then make the face form so that um, the video and the head are actually from the same source. So it's kind of like you, you flattened it and then you're wrapping it back around the same shape. You're all deriving it from whatever character source you're filming. Right. Um, and, and how much reduction needs to happen or if this was a perfect face cast of of that creature, would that be a better effect? Like, because this looks really nice, and if you take away the video, it's actually pretty amorphous. Yeah, it's kind of, um, there's kind of like a little playing around to figure out exactly what it is, but what I found is just kind of like smoothing out a lot of the features, and especially the features that are gonna be moving, mm. like the lips, you know, are, are gonna be going up and down, so if it had the lips, you know, perfectly shaped, it would, you would see that they were rippling yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so it's stuff like that that, um, you know, looks funny when the projector's turned off, but once it's on, then the uh, effect kind of just works on its own. That makes total sense. Now what about the uh, vid video filming and getting that to wrap around? Uh, you filmed yourself in, in, in the character. Um, what do you do with that video to get it to work? Um, so I took the video into After Effects and I had to kind of have the projector running while I was editing it in order to make sure that it was actually matching up because just the straight video isn't quite enough and you have to kind of tweak the shapes and stuff. Um, and like on this one, I animated the eyes to make them a little more exaggerated mm -hmm. and cartoony. So you're kind of creating some more stretching. You're, because it, when you're shooting for video, that's expecting a flat canvas. Right. This is not, and also I imagine you need to blur the edges, vignette it a little bit yeah. to, to make it blend onto a, a white background. Um, I see that you, uh, this is front projected, but I've seen online you've also experimented with rear projection. Is that the same same process? It's really, it's a very similar, um, but the difference is that when it's rear projected, then I've got a little tiny projector that I had to kind of chop up and modify to be able to work in inside the head. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's a lot trickier to engineer, but what's cool about it is that then it's all self-contained and then the head can move around. Right. Um, which is uh, really kind of an unexpected extra level of it. Right, you can almost combine it with an animatronic neck. Totally. Or something and, and create a, a real moving character. Although, for the purposes of adding a display, something like a head in a jar, maybe like Futurama yeah. inspired, or in this case, you have characters that live in, in domes and in, or wig. That is a very, very cool effect. Tell me about the, the other pieces. So this vacuum form, faces, yeah. very reflective, you could get a off-the-shelf wig. Where would you get something like a dome like this? Um, so this, the globe is from a lighting supply place and I think they make them for like street lights. Mm. Um, but um, you can find them online and they'll cut the openings usually big enough so that you can, 
you know, fit it around the head. Um, and if you dress that up with a good wig, um, you get like a whole uh, illusion for um, not a whole lot of trouble. Yeah, I also know that uh, you do other projection effects, not just on faces, until you've experimented with faces on flat surfaces, kind of like a, a um, like ghouls coming out of walls, right? Yeah, I've, um, I've found that like, this kind of stuff is really fun and the kind of big show off effects. Um, but what I think is really cool about projectors is that you can do these really subtle little like shadows off in the corner um, and, uh, and sort of unexpected little things that really add like an extra element to, um, to whatever you're putting on. Totally, totally. I mean, if this is the kind of thing that if I could have a projector running 24-7, I'd, I'd want to have <laughs> and just create all sorts of characters. And it really does sound like a lot of work to film something, create a character, and then also tweak it in the, the video image to get it mapped onto this. You, you sell these as kits? These are kits, uh, yes. Very, very cool. People can find out more about your kits, Jasper's kits, at uh, chickenprops.com, uh, yep. uh, as well as other animatronics and other creature things that you do. But thank you so much for sharing with us. Yeah. Uh, you're a ghoul. My pleasure.